I think it's important to tell people that I agree that NATO should be about defense, defense of our homeland, because do we have the same water issues and um, oil issues that other countries have? No. Um, so I do agree with the majority of the people that are at the top of the military that we should be concerned about defense of the United States over offense. But at the same time, do I think that offense is a good defense in some cases because we're because by doing offense we're protecting our oil supply. Yeah, I do actually. So um, that's that. But no matter what, I believe in getting congressional approval for a war. Do I think congressional approval would go through? Probably not. Um, let's face it. You will never convince me that there is not a single spy in Congress, like a foreign spy or someone that is the descendant of a foreign spy in Congress. Why? Because what's a spy's goal? Infiltrate the military, infiltrate the defense con contractors, get top secret information, uh, learn as much about the country that they're spying on as possible. And will spies train their children, especially if you're a kid that grows up in a house where you speak a language um, that's not English and your parent can tell you specific things your whole life, um, you're going to be influenced by that. No matter what you tell me that, like about someone being so American that's descended from a spy, they are American with spy, with foreign spy tendencies, but they're still someone that has foreign spy tendencies and do people want to take over the United States that are foreign spies? It's all they care about. You have to understand. Remember how I said a long time ago that I believe that Christianity was a Jewish conspiracy to overthrow the Roman Empire, to steal all their gold, because Jew because the Roman Empire used to have a ton of gold, and we watered down their currency. We watered down all their currency. I mean, during, like, once we overthrew, like, a lot of people, like, Augustine wrote a book called City of God, and the book was about how, um, how... It was it was it was it was, in, it was in response to the Romans that believed that Christians ruined Rome, and um, the reason that he had to write that book is because we did ruin Rome. We took their currency and we watered it down. Have, have you, I don't know how many of you guys have seen Rise of Empires, the Ottomans, but they talk about how the Byzantine well, it wasn't the Byzantine Empire; it was the the Holy Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire. Um, in, in Constantinople, but back then it wasn't called Constantinople. It was called, wait, yeah, it was. It was called Constantinople. Um, it, okay, they talk about how the currency was watered down a lot, and how if you looked at the at the coins, they looked so different. That's because at that point the the currency had been watered down because we overthrew their their government and we took all their all their currency. But my point is, back in the day, prior to the democracy, it was difficult to overthrow a government because you had to. Um, do something crazy like invent a, invent a religion and then convert everyone to that religion and then uh, have the religious leaders control the government. But nowadays, it's a lot easier to overthrow a government, right? All you have to do is move to a country, um, push your kid really hard to go to school, encourage them to join the military, and then have them run for political office. Um, or you can do something similar to that. But all I'm saying is um, it's important for people to understand how how easy it is to overthrow the United States government for a foreign country, and um, that's why everyone wants to do it. Especially, it's especially easy now because the internet. So, um, Barack Obama, do I, do, like, have I heard that Barack Obama wasn't actually involved with the decision making on wanting to kill me in the past? Since I talked about that sort of thing yesterday. That's what I'm hearing now, um, but I feel like, I, I, I feel like a lot of the time, like I said yesterday, um, the lead, the rulers get blamed for things that people from their country do, and I don't think it was Barack Obama's fault. Um, now, because um, Barack Obama's my favorite evil clone. <laughs> I know he's not an evil clone. He's a good clone. He's he's my favorite clone. All right, I know you guys don't like clones. It's really hard to run for president when you. You know what's crazy? It never even clicked in my mind that Billie Eilish could have been inspired by. Or could, that could have that she could have known who I was when she wrote her album, and she was like some young girl that um, w when she wrote it, she was super young, I think, and I didn't even know she wrote her album, and I don't know. But then, bad guy, it doesn't sound like it's about me, but I, I don't think it's about me no matter what because I don't even know her. But um, 
Should I actually go listen to that album? If it's actually about me, I'll go listen to it, like, once. But, I know, I know, I'm... When, I, when I'm stoned, I, I slow down a lot, and I sit there, and I'm like... When I'm high, I completely miss everything. Like, wait, wait, when, I, when I'm sober, I completely miss... I, I don't see the for I don't see the forest through the trees. I'm looking at the trees and I miss the forest. Um, but yeah, so yeah, my final pitch for Iowa is: no matter what you think about me, I will be the strongest person from a defense perspective of the United States. Why? Because I am like I I mean I've said it in the past. I think I'm more of a soldier than a than a tech guy, um, and um, I, I have a pretty decent understanding of of warfare. And, um, if there's anything you know, is that in the event of an emergency, I will kill our enemies very 